So the Learning Patch operates as an outdoor classroom. So right now in the Learning Patch we have pretty much every classroom at Broadmoor coming in at least once a month. I think our first year we had three classes in the garden once a month, and then we went to 12, and then we went to 22, and now we're at over 30 classes a month in the garden. Kids really learn by seeing, doing, digging, smelling. The kids do all the labor, most of the planting, um, all the care of the garden starts with the students. I'm amazed at how spot on the lesson is that, and, and how it ties in with the curriculum. And so instead of just, you know, measuring a line in a classroom on a piece of paper, they were measuring the width of the leaves. They get to physically touch it. They get to really see that their work directly impacts the world. The biggest bug I've ever seen, though, is a pal verde beetle. Oh, the dragonfly! Those are big dragonflies. It can motivate them in every subject area, in math and in science and in art and writing and reading. It's just a peaceful, natural place to get kids excited about learning. There's something for everybody, every type of student uh, available in the garden. These? But this is a radish. Radish. We just so found it. So we get a lot of comments from people like, why does my kid suddenly want to eat beets? Or they discover that um, a plant that they helped with is producing a fruit and they want to pick it. A lot of times it's too early. It's, it's just not about a place where something's growing. It's much, much more than that. My favorite thing is because we always have a snack. Oh, we're just eating pumpkin seeds, um, pepitos, and sunflower seeds. It's just a fun, beautiful place. I think that's neat too, is that when you walk up to the school, there's this beautiful, natural place right in front. I've, I've seen staff members, I've seen community members, and I've seen children just go and sit in the garden before school, after school, on a weekend. It, it really is a pretty place. We have a really active parent community here at Broadmoor, and we have a lot of parents who volunteer, especially on our work days. Um, a lot of the hard work families do in a collaborative fashion on weekends. It's not just a one hour, one day a week thing. It's happening all the time. It really shows you what a community can do too because it, it wasn't like we got a million dollar grant to make this garden. It was on a shoestring budget. It really was the community coming together to make it happen. The way that this has grown so quickly and become such a beautiful project that people are passionate about really says something about what people in this community that have kids here want. There's no reason why what we have done here at Broadmoor uh, can't be replicated in other schools around this community. We're meeting a need in our world to help educate our children globally about the problems about food and water and resources. They are critically thinking in the garden. They are learning when they're watching a butterfly pollinate a flower. Do you remember what kind of insect comes here? Oh yeah, monarch butterflies. Oh, monarch butterflies, that's right, the butterflies. This learning patch really brings kids and parents and teachers in our community together in a way that being inside a classroom would just never be able to do. I am a strong believer and an advocate for a space like this in every schoolyard. The learning patch is a big part of what we do here and it accentuates and brings learning to life for many, many children.